Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. Why am I in a squat position? Is that because this is an intro for my video, which is called Squat Talk. I have another channel called Squat Talk, but I'm bringing all the videos to my main channel, Strong with Raj. The basic idea is that I will make a video and speak to you guys in a squat position. And I'm hoping and requesting that you will also listen and watch the video in a squat position. There could be anywhere from two to four to maybe eight minutes. This will ensure that I am in a squat position on a regular basis, maybe daily. And also it can help you if you want to be able to go back to the roots and be comfortable in taking a position of squat. As you know, I'm big into strength training, big into back squats, deadlifts and other things. But this particular playlist is just about being able to be in a squat position like we always have been and maybe restart and recreate that habit that we've forgotten to be in a squat position. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to daily squat talk number five. I want you to look at my feet and keep looking at them. And can you see how flat they are? So when I did my video yesterday, squat video number four, before posting it, I was watching it and I looked at my feet. By the way, you can stop looking at my feet. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was looking at them and I, I realized how extremely flat they are. And this is something I have known for a while that I'm, I've got flat feet. So that is the kind of topic it is today for today. Uh, so when I was little, uh, younger I should say, back in India, because my whole family members were into army, they would do this thing every now and then. So, and you can do it too if you want. So just dip your feet in the water and step on concrete. And when you remove your foot, you'll see a foot mark, I suppose. And my mark would be all just water. There'll be no gap. And they would say, oh, you will not go to the army because of this. So I think one of the criteria in Indian army, at least, must have been flat-footedness or how much flat foot you are. I never ended up joining army anyway. But it sort of makes sense that uh, it could you know, be a problem for running or something else. But I'm sure they don't have such standards anymore because you can use people in army for other things as well. So I think that in most of our sports and activity endeavors, we do have some advantages because of our physical shape. And also from some physical shapes, we could be disadvantaged. Like for example, very common one is that if you're tall, then it is not so good to do lifting, uh, primarily Olympic weightlifting and even powerlifting type movements. But I don't discourage anyone to not do something because of the limitations that is caused by your uh, physical size or the shape or the length. I think the word is anthropometry. The length and the measurements and the proportion of them is, is to do with anthropometry. Maybe a podiatrist, if there is one watching it, can help us understand the good or bad things of having a flat foot. I have come across people a very few times who have arch, a high arch, and a super high arch as well. My ex used to have a super high arch, and I also remember she had plantar fasciitis. I don't know if that is related to someone having super high arch, but I'm definitely a super flat-footed person. My femur, femurs are also short, relatively short. And I wonder every now and then um, what are the good or bad things uh, associated to that. Um, I'm a personal trainer and a strength coach, so I look at things that way. So I have definitely realized and come to know by a lot of observation at work that my strides are shorter and smaller than my colleagues who are much taller than me and have longer legs. It just makes sense. But I do think that being flat-footed might be... Now, this is, this is my theory. This is my 
my flat foot theory, as it says in the topic. And I'm doing it at the risk of being wrong and ridiculed. Anyway, the theory is being flat foot might help to being a good squatter. Why? Because all of your foot is in contact with the floor, helping you generate and transfer that force into moving up to the bar. So like this, I can squat, I think with more force being generated and more force being trans transported throughout the body, I think. Anyway, that is just a theory. Um, I would still say that I don't discourage anyone to not pursue what they would like to, despite the limitations they have, despite their physical endowment, whether it is long legs, short arms, but also to be aware that they do have something uh, that may not give them the full advantage of what they're going to choose from. Uh, as you see, we have sports like basketball, which is only for tall people. Uh, it doesn't mean that a short person shouldn't be playing it, but uh, those people should know very well that they will not excel as much. We'll always have exception, like I think there's a guy called player called Muggsy Bogues who did really well even though he was so short. But for as, as long as going to gym, which is what we are all about, and this channel is about fitness, strength training, going to gym, I think uh, overall it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's a very good YouTuber I follow. His name is Zach T. Lander, and he's all about Olympic weightlifting. And I'm pretty sure he competed in national championship in USA. He's from America. He is a tall guy. He's a tall guy to be a lifter, but he has done really well. And uh, he's one of my uh, YouTube influences that I, I watch. So yeah, that was all about the flat foot theory that I have. And uh, I hope you've been listening and watching this video in the squat position. Maybe, maybe that could be one reason that why I can squat easily for a longer period of time. But that is all a theory. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you to Ewan. He left one more comment and he was very positive. And I just hope that you are watching me in the squat position or at least trying to. So I will see you next.